A grenade launcher. How exciting. Like, what an incredible find. I guess I'll save this for later. Yeah, let's be honest. That thing is going to rot in your stash until the end of wipe. The GL is such a powerful attachment, yet it's rarely used. Hopefully by the end of this video, you can get out of your comfort zone and use one of these bad boys. As you may know, these two grenade launchers can only be found in raid. They can also be bought from traders, but are quest blocked with very late game quests. When you go to build your gun, it's good to take the handguard off and put the grenade launcher on to see what your options are for handguards, since not all handguards work with the grenade launcher. The M203 has a lot of different rounds, including a shotgun cartridge, which I don't think is practical. Also, quick tip, you can cycle through grenades just like you can with magazines by holding R and then using scroll wheel. Now, going back to the different ammo types, there's two types that you should keep an eye out for and that is the m381 and the m441 with the main difference being the arming distance these two rounds have an arming distance of about eight feet compared to about 45 feet for the rest of the rounds now the issue with these two rounds are that they're very rare and cannot be bought on the flea you can practically only get them from weapon containers and the goons. You can't actually get the M386 and the M406 rounds from the flea market for actually very cheap. But the only issue is they have a 45 foot arming distance, which is not great, but it'll get the job done. Going over to the GP25, there's only one type of ammo, which is the VOG25. It's got an arming distance of about six feet and you can buy it on the flea. That's really cheap, I'm gonna buy all of this. It usually sits at 20K plus per round. With the short arming distance and the fact that you can buy the rounds off the flea, this makes the GP25 the ideal grenade launcher to use. Let's see just how big of a difference the arming distance is. When going into raid with one of these, you always want to consider the type of ammo you're using and change your playstyle accordingly. With a GP25, you can play more aggressively knowing that you can use the grenade launcher at close range and long range. Whereas the M203, you're most likely going to be using the longer range projectiles, so you're going to want to play more passively and maybe try to keep a distance between your enemy when you can. Now, there are a few things you want to keep in mind when you start engaging people with the grenade launcher. You usually want to go for a ground shot when you can because that'll maximize the amount of fragments that are going to hit your target if you go for a wall shot it's about the same but slightly worse do not go for a direct shot a direct shot it actually counts as one fragment hitting the players so go figure also in case you were wondering a uh, grenade launcher kill does not count for grenadier it also won't count as a gun kill so if you were doing a task that required you to get kills with an m4 and you got a kill with the grenade launcher it's not going to count all right let's get into a raid Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see the M4 drip? That's right. thing that sucks about this grenade launcher is I can't use it inside because you can't buy the grenades 
that you can use inside. This is an outdoor grenade launcher. For the outdoors. Let's see if I can spawn anyone off Skybridge. Maybe down here? No. Maybe some scabs? I need scav kills. I hear another scav. Up right here. This is crazy. No way. Oh. That was unfortunate for that guy. Oh, that's a big boy too. Raid bag. <laughs> Kaban. Yeah, yeah, go for Kaban, bro. I need those scav kills. Go ahead, go run out in that parking lot. Please. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Love this. Uh. No survivors out here. Epic Gamer. These guys are fucking loaded. What the fuck? Too heavy.
guys if you enjoyed the video please drop a like or comment it helped me out a lot if you want to see more consider subscribing thanks for watching